Can I help you, little girl? Are you hungry? We are going to make some hay feeders for the goats. These are 15 gallon um, barrels that I buy. I buy these 30 gallons and 55 gallon drums. Um, I'm sure you've seen them in all our videos, but I'm going to use these for hay feeders. So I'll show you guys how that works. I find these at on Craigslist and I paid about five bucks each for them, which isn't bad at all. Uh, they're a food grade barrel. Um, will work perfectly. They've been rinsed out real well. Will work perfectly for a hay dispenser. There's different ones you can build. You can also build ones out of pallets. Um, that's a little bit more involved and I'm just trying to get something done and out of the way. So that's what I play with this. I need somebody to come build a ramp for the shed too. <laughs> so what I did is I was going to measure like a, a hole, but that proved to be kind of a pain on the curved barrel. So I have these sheets of sandpaper and uh, basically I just laid it down and traced it out. That way the holes will be uniform and look kind of somewhat orderly instead of all hacked up. And all I did is I took a hole saw and drilled a pilot hole so I can get a saw started in here and cut it out. Jigsaw or saws all or whatever. Whatever you have will work. Just remember when you're cutting plastic and barrels like that, the pieces that come off can be hot. Um, sometimes they are, sometimes they are. Just depending on the tool you're using. Yeah, let me tell you about the best invention that we have done at this house. And that is drive a five foot piece of pipe into the ground and set that annoying fence on it. Now I can go and just pull off what I need and cut it. It is absolutely the best thing I've ever done in my life. Because as many of you know, dealing with that fence is a huge, huge pain in the butt. So, that's probably a five, maybe six foot piece of pipe. Three, you know, just a piece of old gas pipe. We pound it in the ground, set that thing around on it. Man, it works amazing. I'm in the process of building these hay feeders. Hey. They busted a hole out of this fence, so I had to patch it up and put another pallet here, so. Everybody said that goats would try to get out of everything. I believe them. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Here are the Royal Palms and the Bourbon Reds. Stall mates with these fine goats. They're doing great. There's two silky imposters right there. But they're doing quite well. I put them in here yesterday on a whim while I was cleaning out their brooder and thought, you know, I'm just going to leave them in here because I'm tired of cleaning out the brooder. They're feathered. Haven't had the heat lamp on them in a couple weeks anyway. And they can't get out of this snow climb fence that I know of. I'm not missing any, so. <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about them is flying out. I've noticed that the turkeys tend to fly more than my chicks ever did. So we'll see. Beautiful birds. I can't wait till they get bigger. I have no idea to tell if these, I've never had turkeys, if these turkeys are male or female, is there a way that you can tell right now just by looking at them? Please let me know in the comments because I'm curious. My luck is I'm going to have a bunch of males and like no hens. So please let me know. The brown ones are the bourbon reds, the white ones are the royal palms. But if you tell me there's a way to check, I will definitely check them. Um, I know how to tell with chicks, I mean with chickens, but you know even then it's still pretty hard. So I'm assuming it's the same with turkeys. I gotta go fix y'all's hay feeders. What's wrong with you? Nothing. There was a lady that commented and said that made a comment about their collars um, bothering them and that's why he was scratching. That's not why he was scratching. He's got scurs when, you know, we didn't do this, but whoever disputed him, you know, didn't do something right. and. Uh, 
So his scars are itchy and they'll fall off at some point. And as you can see, he's doing what he's not supposed to do. It has nothing to do with his collar. Um, they actually all three have collars and the other ones are fine. So, um, yeah, so I'm not sure when they fall off, but who knows? Active little fella. Mama, you about ready to eat and get milked? Good to give him a bath. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I cut up a, a piece of this no climb fence out. And as you can see, I marked, I drilled holes all the way around the perimeter of the hole. And I marked each little time where I want to bend it. If there's a better way to do this, let me know. But this is kind of just what I come up with. So I'm going to do is I'm going to bend each little fork piece. I'm going to put it in each hole and bend them back. Okay. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. But you can see if you look inside, all of the tines are in the barrel. And what I did is I went in here and I started bending them up. So I'm going to reach in either from right here or the top and bend them all in to hold them into place. And I'm hoping that'll be it. Should be. We'll see. Unless the ghost decide to dance on these things or something. But uh, I think we should be good. And if I need to, I can always notch this out, make a bigger opening for them to get their snout in or pull hay out. But I'm going to leave it like this for now and see what happens. I just want to show you guys what I was doing. You can see where I've bent them up. And what I'm going to do is I'll fold some of them over. But I want to give you a little tip. Um, like the corner ones. What you can do is you can do this. You grab one, sorry, with a pair of needle nose pliers and just kind of twist it. And what it does is it sucks up any slack and it's not going to come out. You can even go so far as to twist a little bit more. There you go. See, where, see how it took all the slack out? Just want to show you all that. As you can see, we basically just stitched on this piece of fencing. So when we stand this joker up, we now have a hay feeder that I think will work quite well and it will minimize waste, which is something I don't like when I have to buy all of this. Thank <laughs> you for all this hay. I do need to up the supply of hay as well. So hopefully we'll be buying a portable electric fence here in the next couple of oops, I forgot one. In the next couple of um, weeks where we can pasture the, them out. We're also going to add on back here and um, create some more room and fencing and things like that. So lots of plans. Just fine. Perfect. Let's fill it full of hay. And there's the finished product. One down, three more to go. Works great. They loved it. Now I just gotta permanently attach it. We feed the goats at ADM brand dairy goat feed, and, and then alfalfa pellets, and then ball. Good stuff. Here. Blow some bubbles, bud. Hmm? Blow some bubbles. Show me how you do it. I like your boots. You got it. Hey, Hey, the milk guys. Why don't you? Let me see your bubble. Where's your bubbles, Papa? I'm heavy bubbles. <laughs> it's yellow. Yeah, his is yellow. But he's a Scrooge too. Huh, Papa? Wee! Hmm. It's like little, this. It's the little things. <laughs> Michael. You like this? Yes, you can. What are you talking about? Well, you don't need to pick up that pool. What? 
Oh my gosh. Where's Tiger? Oh, there he is. Tiger! You don't want nothing to do with those elbows. What you been doing all day, buddy? To you, Get it there. Get it. He's talking to you. Uh. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. I will. Well, I read it back. Yeah. See ya. Wow. Wee. I picked up some new 31 gallon. Um, trash cans with lids we use them for um for feed and for well trash but just a tip tractor supply has these the, th the same ones 31 gallons for like 27 dollars plus tax if you go to lowe's they're 19.99 uh so definitely pick them up at lowe's if you got one there way better deal What's the squeeze thing? This thing swing, uh, it's a, the gray, the bucket. What? The bucket. What bucket? The bucket, like we squeeze. To milk the, the goats? Yeah. We're not milking them right now, buddy. We will in a couple hours. You want to milk them so bad, don't you? I don't you can milk them in a little bit. I want to. I know, buddy. It's not time yet, though. I want to. You can, in just a little bit. We picked up some new pails for the goats so we can load their feet up in it. Stud muffin. It's crazy that him and I both have the same nickname. <laughs> We've been feeding them at a spare. I mean, if you have a homestead or a farm, you know, you, you spare plastic containers, old ice cream buckets, but we wanted something a little bit more sturdy. And Tractor Supply has these, a three pack, five quart pails, a three pack for Michael Cerruti um, for um, $15. We put the cap on this. He's marking all sides of it. Hmm. That is a paint pen, buddy. That ain't just a regular marker. Snowflake. Sweet. Ta -da! Cool. <laughs> We just went to Mobile and picked these up. These came from um, a place in Mobile that uh, makes salsa. These were produce produce uh, baskets. These are just a part of them. We bought like 30 of them for, I got 30 of them for 20 bucks and they will just, they will be very useful up here. Whether it's hauling vegetables in from the garden or, you know, just whatever. We might make some nest boxes out of them as well, so. Pretty excited for this little find right here. Michael is doing what he does best. What are you doing, boy? Washing it. Washing this? Don't get your tractor wet. This is why I can't leave my car doors open. Can I help you? I came out here because I saw Michael following Hunter. Hunter is mowing the lawn and Michael raced out here with his tractor. Laura found one of the baby rabbits. 
outside of its nest box and uh, trying to warm him back up. He's a runt, so had her had her put him in there. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. Say hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's. I don't know if he's gonna make it. We're gonna try to. He's doing okay. Try to gonna, nurse him. He's. Mama's not really been nursing, so we're gonna force not force feed him, but we're gonna hold Mama down and let him latch on and and um, get some get some milk. So getting ready to feed the goats and milk them for the night and. Uh, You ready for bed? You ready for bed? Yes, sir. Mama, mama. It's when you have in it. Mama, you forgot this one. Where did that Louise's? This is the little baby that wouldn't. This is the little runt, so we got mama flipped over on her back. Letting the little one nurse. Because we think that the older one was kicking him off. But he is. Oh. Feeding. She's being Mm-hmm. 